the Institute of Human Anatomy. It's a private cadaver lab. We utilize human cadavers to teach um, mostly anatomy. If you look right here, you're gonna notice that there is a connective tissue film on top of the brain tissue itself. Now this is part of the meningeal system. And if this experiences a bacterial or viral infection, that is what we call meningitis. So all of our bodies we get from certified body donor programs. We tend to get bo bodies that are embalmed. They'll remove the body fluids and they'll also pump through embalming fluids uh, that helps preserve the body so there's no decay. You're looking at the chin of one of our cadavers. All of those black dots there, those are hairs that are literally going to the depth of your adipose tissue. And this is true of the hair over your entire body, which means that when you're waxing hair, you're literally pulling it from the depth of your adipose tissue. All these bodies are out on the tables in room temperature and we keep them in bags so they don't uh, get dried out and things like that. We have a preservative that will spray on them whenever we open the bags up. This is called phenoxyethanol. This is an alcohol mixed with water. And what I'll do is I will just spray the tissues down and that's gonna go ahead and keep them hydrated and also help prevent and limit microbial growth. One of the bodies we've had since December of 2012, that body has taught that, well, actually now with our social channels, millions of people, it's amazing to think about that. You were looking at cancer that originally began down in the colon, but spread to the liver. We don't tell the students or anybody their name. We keep their identity private. Most of our bodies, it was either like breast cancer, or liver cancer, a stroke, or, you know, Alzheimer's. Here we go, this is so cool. Look at this. The lungs are pretty much hugging the heart, right? They surround the heart, but these are very healthy, good looking lungs. You can see the fissure there separating the lobes, but this is just an absolutely outstanding cadaver here. And what I mean by that is a lot of times you're gonna see a lot of disease. You're gonna see a lot of dysfunction, but here we see a lot of very, very healthy tissues which just makes this really cool and fun to instruct from. First and foremost, these people chose to do this. This is what they wanted to do. They wanted to educate students about the human body so that they could pay it forward. And it's natural to think death when you're in a cadaver lab because these are deceased bodies. But I always tell students, this is way more about life than it actually is about death. And the reason for that is, is you guys are gonna come in here, you're gonna learn about the human body and you're gonna be able to walk out of here and help the living. So that phrase that you hear about the dead teach the living is so true. I wanna show you just how massive the largest blood vessel in the body really is. This thing right here, this is the ascending aorta and it's the size of a garden hose. This thing is enormous. Just picture the amount of blood that is getting pushed through this thing every single time the left ventricle beats. There's no replacement for real human anatomy, like cadaver education. There's nothing like, like I said, handing a heart to a student. It's an amazing gift that the people donate their body. We've had body donor programs recently email us and be like, hey, can we use your videos to show families? We were like, oh my gosh, like, like we even got a little emotional about it. <laughs>